going to say it. These are looking eerily similar to chicken. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Merle and today we're going to be doing a cool recipe by someone you probably already know. I feel like a lot of you who watch me also watch him. His name is Mark and his channel is called Sauce Stash. And he's always coming up with these really cool different kinds of vegan meats. This recipe of his has been on my radar for quite a while and I'm really excited to try it. Today we're gonna be making his jackfruit chicken drumsticks. So it's jackfruit in the middle and then we're using rice paper on the outside for the skin. Sounds pretty cool to me. I like both of those things. I don't use jackfruit that often in day-to-day -day life, but I use rice paper all the time. Rice paper bacon is really good. I love me some spring rolls. I'm feeling good about how the rice paper could possibly act as a skin here, a vegan skin. I don't know if you understand. I was a dirty little rat girl scarfing down chicken skin in my meat-eating days. I used to ask other people if they were gonna finish their skin. It was a whole thing. So if I can find a vegan version of that, I am going to be a happy girl. All right, let's get into this recipe. First, let's say a quick thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video today. We'll talk more about them later. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need in this recipe is two cans of jackfruit. These were like three to four dollars each, I think. So not too bad. Then we're gonna crack these puppies open and head over to the sink to strain them. So we wanna rinse them off because jackfruit naturally has a really sweet flavor to it. So we're gonna rinse off the sweetness and then we're gonna take each chunk. Sorry for the use of the word chunk. I think for some people it's like a no, but I don't know what else to call these. And we're gonna get in there with our fingers. We're gonna smash them up, mash them up. You'll see there's like a looser, meatier part to them and then there's the base of it. And the base of it tends to be more tough. So you really wanna get in there and break it up. Also, you'll likely come across some seeds. That's okay. It just. I'm trying to set as many of those aside as I go, but if you get a couple in there, it's really not the end of the world. It'll be okay. Wow, okay, so this is really meaty looking already. Now we just wanna toss our crushed up jackfruit meat into a pot and we're gonna cover that with some water. Mark used about one teaspoon of a vegan chicken broth. I'm using bouillon cubes. You can just crush out the bouillon cube and toss it right there in the water and it'll all mix together eventually. If you don't feel like using chicken flavored bouillon, you can use vegetable, whatever you want. But it's vegan, so that's all that really matters at the end of the day. So we're gonna let that boil on the stove for about 20 minutes. While we're waiting, I wanna quickly talk about Thrive Market, who is kind enough to sponsor this video today. Thank you so much. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store. Their mission is to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. I love Thrive Market because I'm always keeping my eyes scanning for new organic and cruelty-free vegan products, and they have that in abundance. They offer a wide variety of organic groceries, snacks, supplements, eco-friendly cleaning supplies, non-toxic beauty items, personal care items, organic kids products, wine, and more. It's really great because you can just type in vegan into the search bar and then you can just see all of the vegan offerings they have and you can search by category. So if you're looking for like new skincare products that are cruelty free and vegan, or maybe you're looking for some frozen food items that are vegan, they got your back. Organic groceries can get expensive. Thrive Market can help you cut your grocery bill by up to 30%. If you find a better price somewhere else, they'll match it. This yellow bird blue agave sriracha that I really love, it's normally around like $7 and I got it for $5.49. We love a sustainable queen. Thrive Market is on a mission to become the world's first climate positive grocery store. Orders over $49 are shipped free and delivered with carbon neutral shipping. For every paid annual membership, Thrive donates a free membership to someone in need. So join Thrive Market today and you can get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $50. Just click the link in my description or go to thrivemarket.com slash Merloneal. Let's get back into the video. So it's been 20 minutes and now we're gonna strain our meat. And make sure you save that broth water because we're gonna use it again later. We love a repurpose, don't we though? Okay, so now it's time to season our meat. Get your dirty mind out of the gutter. It's time to season the meat. We're gonna add one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, one tablespoon of a protein powder. Mark used pea protein, but he said you could use pretty much any protein powder. I'm using chickpea protein powder. <laughs> it's really hard to say. Chickpea protein powder, chickpea pro Chickpea protein powder, chickpea, chickpea protein powder, chickpea protein, chickpea protein powder, chickpea, oh my God. Can you do that though? Let me, please let me know if you actually can. Say it even three times fast. If you can say it five times, can I say anything? 
Chickpea protein powder, chickpea protein powder, chickpea protein powder, chickpea protein powder, chickpea protein powder. I'm gonna count it. And then lastly, we're gonna use an ingredient that I'd never even heard of. And this is like the main binder of this recipe. It's called methyl cellulose. We're getting all scientific in here. Methyl cellulose is commonly used as a thickener or an emulsifier for foods, and today it's gonna be our binder. Mark was saying that this is the binder they use in the Impossible Burger, so I feel like it's gotta be good, right? The one I'm using I found online, I'll just link to it in the description if you are having trouble finding it yourself. Okay, so get ready to get a little messy. We're gonna take our little hands and we're gonna just get in there and mix it up. Then we're gonna set this aside and I'm gonna cover it up and let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes while the methyl cellulose does its thing. Okay, so 20 minutes have gone by and the methyl cellulose has left our mixture a bit drier. It's pulled some of that moisture out of the jackfruit, which is what we wanted. So since it's a little bit drier, it's gonna be easier to mold this meat around the bone that we're gonna be making today. Speaking of the bone, today we're gonna be using lemongrass stalks for the bone, that's what Mark did. So we're gonna peel the outer layer of our lemongrass off. And then you can just chop the like top couple inches and the bottom couple inches off. And you should get around three to four of our little bones out of one stalk. Now we're gonna take our little bones and we're gonna just rinse them off in the sink over there. Then we're gonna put them in another bowl and we're gonna coat them with a little bit of cornstarch. And the cornstarch should hopefully help to hold the like jackfruit meat onto the bone a little bit easier. Okay, now it's assembly time. So I'm gonna take some rice paper and I'm gonna go ahead and dunk it into that chicken broth that we, that we saved, remember? Remember when we saved that earlier? So you're gonna bring that out. We're gonna get it evenly coated all the way around. You don't want it to get too soft or it's more likely to tear, but just get it nice and covered up so it softens. And then we're gonna move that over to our cutting board and we're gonna slice it in half. Should only need half of a rice paper roll per chicken drumstick. So, okay, full disclosure, this took me a couple times to get it right. The rolling process is a little bit tricky, but just do your best. And if you mess up, you can always use the other half of your rice paper right around it, around the outside to hold everything in together. But just make sure you're like keeping it contained from the bottom and the top. And the rest is just like jazz. You just let it go where it takes you. You know what I mean? Just move with the rice paper when in doubt. Okay, so we've got our drumsticks done. Now it's time to take our plate of drumsticks and we're gonna toss them in the freezer for about two hours so they can get nice and firm. Okay, so the drumsticks are all frozen and solidified. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some vegan butter. You can use whatever kind you prefer. Miyoko's is great, of course, or Earth Balance. You know the ones, you know the brands, you know what to do. I'm gonna go ahead and melt this down. We've got our vegan melted butter here. Mark was saying that the melted butter step here kind of helps to rehydrate the rice paper and also we will just give them a buttery flavor, which you can't really go wrong with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a bigger bowl. Okay, so we've got our cutie little drumsticks here. They're all frozen, they're super solid. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plop our little cutie boys in there and we're gonna let them get all coated up. We're gonna give them a little shake -a -roo. Get them all coated. Ooh, baby. Now, we're gonna take a couple teaspoons of our rub, our dry rub that we made. I'm just gonna say it. These are looking eerily similar to chicken. Like, uncomfortably so. And then what Mark said to do is to like, Take these guys out and make sure they're like properly evenly coated in the rub that we made. Okay, so now that they're evenly coated, we're gonna cook these little babies in our air fryer. We're gonna cook them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 204 degrees Celsius. 200 degrees Celsius would probably have sufficed. And we're gonna cook them for about 10 minutes. So let's get to it. Okay, so they've been cooking for 10 minutes. Now I'm getting in there and I'm giving them a gentle little flip a rooney Trying to be as gentle as possible. Just so we get them evenly cooked. Wow, these are like very solid. You know what I mean? Like they really are holding together. Okay, and now we're gonna pop them back in there for another 10 minutes. Mark said that he cooked his for an additional five minutes to get an extra crisp. So I'm gonna do that too, cause like Mark knows what he's doing. So we're gonna do what Mark does. Our little drumsticks are all done. Let's check them out. Ooh. Oh, they look so 
so good. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, the only thing left to do to these is we're just gonna baste them with some of that melted butter that's mixed with our rub that we have from earlier, and then we're gonna try it. She's basted and I'm so hungry. I'm so excited to try this. I just have to say, the rice paper truly forms what looks like a skin on the outside. It's unreal. Okay, here we go, you ready? I see the pearly gates now. Wow! Oh my God, this is so incredibly delicious. I don't really know what to do with myself. The inside of this looks so much like meat that it's slightly unnerving, actually. Dude. It has a perfect crisp on the outside. The jackfruit is giving. It's the gift that keeps on giving. It's not sweet. There's like no hint of sweetness left in the jackfruit. It's like totally taken on the flavor from the vegan chicken broth. The lemongrass flavor comes through a little bit. I might even try making these around like a popsicle. I don't know how that works in the air fryer because I'm not, I don't use the air fryer that much, but I like the flavor of lemongrass. But if you're really trying to replicate just straight up chicken, the lemongrass flavor does get in the way a little bit, in my opinion, but I've seen people use like swizzle sticks, like sugar cane. Sweetness would actually be nice with this. If you did like a sugar cane swizzle stick, but holy moly, all I want to do is just keep eating these. Like the flaky, crispy skin on the outside and the rice paper is absolutely perfection. It's like juicy and succulent, the jackfruit inside of it. All I can think right now is how badly I'd like to have this with just straight up barbecue sauce. Oh man, some teriyaki chicken. Oh, that would be so good. If you're vegan and you're looking for a vegan chicken you can make at home, if you don't have a lot of vegan restaurants around you, highly recommend you try this. Like you can make a bunch of these and freeze them and then air fry them when you want them. Mark, thank you so much for this recipe. It is. Phenomenal. You absolutely nailed it. Guys, go check out Sauce Stash. His recipes are amazing. Check out his cookbook. That's where this recipe, I believe, came from. Send me any of the recipes you want me to try and I'll give you my honest opinion. If you wanna hang out with me in between videos, join my Discord. The link is in the description. I also stream on Twitch, usually two to three times a week. So come hang out. I do co-working sessions. I also do some gaming streams. And you can always find my behind the scenes footage and videos on my Instagram. All of those things will be in the description below. And with that, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will see you soon. Ciao for now.